figure I'd keep with, keep with the theme of SPX and just switch over to basketball right now. Um, it's another box of 0809 basketball. Take a quick peek, White Wolfie. This has really not been a great night for hits for me. Has somebody really jinxed me? You guys have been watching YouTube and you see me hit a lot of good stuff, especially my football and baseball, and well, and basketball too. So, just the luck was eventually going to run out. And here is a Saturday night, and hasn't been kind of me really for the most part. Ten packs, three cards a pack. Here we go. Tony Parker base. I really like. I mean, the look of the of, of the base cards of basketball I think look better than the the look. It, it seems to it seems to refract light a little bit better than the football cards do. But anyway, Yao Ming base and a winning materials combo of Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd, not numbered. And the football cards are also die cut, but it's just that the, the foil technology that they're using in the basketball seems to be a little better. Prince base, Duncan base, Tayshawn Prince and Rashid Wallace winning materials combo. Marcus Aldridge base, uh, Daquan Cook base. There's a dual freshman orientation of Joe Alexander, not numbered. Okay. Thaddeus Young base, Allen Iverson base, and uh, Jesus, this is like the third triple jersey auto I've had of this guy. Maurice Spates, 219 of 599. I will move him because I don't need that many autos of this kid, seriously. It's like Upper Deck thinks I'm his family member or something, sending me so many of those. Um, by the way, for you basketball freaks out there, um, I'm actually waiting to order a case of uh, Upper Deck Black, which is actually coming out, I believe, at the end of the month. I'll be popping a case or two of that. Um, so watch out for that. And the case runs about 1200 1300 I'll be popping a couple of those cases for sure. Um, I've been doing mostly football as of late, but basketball probably is my first love. But just the card, you know, card-wise, I mean, there's only, only so much Topps Chrome and SPX and stuff that I can get. So the products are not as great for basketball, I think, right now. And basketball is a softer market than football is. Um, so, you know, just for your, best, for your hoops freaks out there, You'll be getting some really, really high quality breaks from me. Case breaks very soon. So, Al Harford, Lou Aldang, and here's a uh, Kobe Bryant dual jersey. Can't go wrong with any Kobe card. Kobe's Kobe after all, right? It's like you can get your hand on a Michael Jordan. Jordan's a freaking Jordan card. It doesn't matter. You folks out there, you're a little younger, you know, under the age of like, you know, 23, 21 or so, and whatnot. Do not, do not, do not, do not discredit the value of even a simple base card if it's a great player because that's what people did back in the 80s and whatnot too and then you look at you know base cards of some of these hall of fame legend guys and you know they're great granted there wasn't as much memorabilia back there and autos and stuff like that you know now the market's more diluted with it but right now the hobby is a little bit on a downward trend with the rest of the recession everything always is cyclical it'll come back up um so you know, grab onto these things while you hold on to these things while you can, especially the players you think are going to be great. There are good players out there, you know, but the difference between a good and a great player, and when I mean a great player, I'm talking a Kobe Bryant, a LeBron James, a Tim Duncan, guys who have forever changed the face of the position and are going to be considered the best at their position. Grab as many cards as you can, hold on to them. Don't, don't get rid of them for anything cheap. So, <clears throat> Lamar Odom, duel. There you go. That was my little spiel for tonight, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just see too many, you know, especially from the younger folk. I, I just see. I, I, I don't like to make it out like I'm that much older. I'm 34, but still, you know, like I get some ridiculous offers and stuff sometimes for these things, and I don't think there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, comprehension of like the value of some of these things. Uh, we think we think of everything now, now, now. we got to make money now. But we don't understand that we hold on to some of these things and end up being not that bad. Here's a signature block of Jason Smith. Not signed. And the base of Dwight Howard. 
I'm sorry. I just I just have to do that. I have to get that off my I have to get that off my chest. It's something that just really bugged me. Devin uh, Devin Harris, Andre Miller, Greg Godin. <sighs> and here's a dual freshman orientation uh, of Anthony Randolph, ten of twenty five. Dual patch, two color, one color, or one color, two color. Two more packs left. Sean Marion base, Zach Randolph base, winning materials combo of Elton Brand and Andre Miller. And Elton Brand is a, is a type of, is, is an example of a player I'd say is good, good to very good. But you know, he's not he's not a, he's not a somebody who's like forever going to change the face of the NBA. You know, Elton Brand. You know, maybe like Chris Bosh, Dwight Howard. I mean, not Dwight Howard, David West, guys like that. Kobe Bryant face. There's an Antoine Jameson. Uh, refractor. I mean, sorry, a Radiance. Uh, numbered 24 of 25. This is actually the first Radiance card that I got. And a triple auto jersey of Chris Douglas Roberts, number 333 of 599. And there you go, folks. That is this box break of SPX basketball for tonight. Thanks for watching, as always. Got a couple more box breaks left in me for tonight. So, stay tuned. See y'all.